The following video is by the Dark Conservatarian. If you like it, be sure to subscribe to him. Link in the description. And a reminder that patrons who donate at the super VIP level or higher are entitled to have one video mirrored on my channel per month, no questions asked. Without further ado, here's the Dark Conservatarian. Over the last few months, the entire planet has had to deal with all sorts of crap. Holy crap, what kind of unholy torment has come across my plate? From pandemics to earthquakes, from plagues to tornadoes. Holy fuck, that squirrely voice is one of the most aggravating things that I have heard ever since Riley Dennis's accent. It's been batshit crazy from east to west. And you figure a globally shared catastrophe would get collective humanity to wake up, <laughs> see the bigger picture, and set aside the in order to unite for the greater good. Call me a veterinarian, cause it's time for me to put down a rabbit squirrel. Sadly enough, otherwise this video wouldn't even exist! Cause even during a pandemic, where everyone should be staying the fuck inside, you have those dim-witted idiots on a crowded beach complaining, This pandemic is totally ruining my spring break. More like this pandemic is ruining our liberties and freedoms in general. Or, one of the more sophisticated responses I've heard, No flu gonna stop me partying, bruh! Woo! That literally sounds like the same petty example that you brought up earlier. Why are you people still alive? Why are you such a government ass kisser? Now, even though part of society has continued to act like a big bag of swollen dicks, you're the only one who's acting like an absolute controlling authoritarian dick. The majority of humans have pulled together to get shit done. They have proven they can help each other in a crisis, proven they will self-sacrifice in times of need for the benefit of others, and have shown their ability, for the most part, to approach issues somewhat intelligently. For everyone else out there, toss yourself in a fucking blender and hit liquefy! Fuck off! I'm more prone to shove a stick up your ass and roast you over a fire pit! We have an opportunity post-pandemic to collectively have a better understanding and acceptance of each other. <laughs> you are not interested in understanding anyone. You are just focused in on all the petty partiers rather than all of the anti-lockdown protesters who are concerned about liberty and saving the economy. We now, globally, have a shared experience and cause. One of survival. One of communication. Yeah, but guess what? Some people are just interested in control and are using this pandemic as a wedge for that issue. So, yeah, I'm sorry to burst your hippie, let's all come together type of mentality here, but no, no matter what, there are just going to be some people with differing agendas and beliefs. Deal with it. If this has taught humanity anything, aside from how to properly wash their fucking hands, it's that humanity, society, and the planet is always in a very fragile state. Too late, you arrogant doofus. The India-Pakistan conflict of last year already taught me that, among other examples. And complaining about meaningless shit, and how someone said something benign, yet it somehow hurt your feelings because you're sensitive! <laughs> Gotta tell you, shut the fuck up, dude. We done with that. We're done with your whining and complaining. We're done with your feelings and how logical lessons from history somehow offended you. I don't know if he is trying to go on about SJWs or if he is actually trying to talk about all the anti-lockdown protesters, but I'm just going to go on record here and say fighting against authoritarianism and fighting for liberty, the liberty to run your own business, keep your own business open, and to move around and go about with your life as normal is not going on about Feelings. And yeah, Groundhog, you're right. If there's any logical lesson that history has taught us, it is if that you give too much power to the government, you're going to inevitably end up breeding brutal, violent dictators. Now he just goes on a little bit longer about people complaining about their feelings, and it's just rather repetitive, so we're going to move on to the next video. Here's the other thing that's really just obnoxious. I just went through a fucking rant about people getting their shit together, using their brains, and stop being fucking morons! And what happens? Everybody's gotta get together in groups during a pandemic to protest the lockdown! I don't wanna be inside! Hey, here's the thing, right? 
I would be all for you going outside and getting sick if you were the only ones getting sick. The problem is, your idiocy doesn't stop with you. You go out, you get a virus, you bring it to everybody you meet. Yeah, same goes with a whole lot of other diseases that we aren't forced to stay inside and take all these brash measures with government, like the seasonal flu, for example. And by the way, before anyone misunderstands what I'm trying to say here, I'm not trying to say it's just the flu, bruh. I'm not saying that it is exactly the same as that at all. What I am trying to say is that just simply saying you're gonna get other people sick is not a substantive enough of a response towards all the anti-lockdown protesters. And it's not like all these protesters are like actively and directly harming other people unless they're like actively intentionally getting up in people's faces and touching them and whatnot, which uh, by the way is technically illegal in of itself anyways. And also taking into account the very low case fatality rate of this disease unless you're immunocompromised or elderly, which we'll get into a little bit later. It's not like it's going to be equivalent to manslaughter or any other kind of direct death that you are doing upon a person. So now you've got all these people smushed together trying to protest some fucking lockdown. Like, oh, the government is doing blah 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 blah. You're fucking stupid. No, you're the one who is fucking stupid. And blind for that matter, you fucking mole rat! Oh, I, I don't really see this as a government issue. Uh, I get so fucking sick and tired of all these normies who practically outright dismiss the government overreach side of this fucking pandemic issue. And it's more of a medical science kind of thing, you know? Like, oh, there's a virus outside. You know, I mean, mathematically, you would want to be in the out of doors. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, if it's over there, if bad is over there, I shouldn't be over there. Okay, well then let people determine that for themselves, then instead of arresting them for this kind of shit. For everybody protesting the lockdown, this isn't about politics. Everything is political, you tool. All the way down to the food you eat. Veganism debates, anyone? This isn't about government overreaching. It damn well is about government overreaching, Trump's executive orders against quote-unquote hoarding and price gouging, people getting arrested for being in public like I mentioned earlier, or at least fined for such, Governor Kelly acting like a monarch to shut down churches, Pennsylvania forcibly shutting down liquor stores, and not to mention that even PolitiFact, a website that I typically don't trust as far as I can throw them in their attempt to debunk the claim that Michigan is banning sales of seeds ultimately admits that yes, stores are being told to shut down sections that sell seeds. This isn't even about the fucking economy, okay? Fuck the economy. Yeah, fuck the economy. Fuck the 15% unemployment rate and all the people that fall under it. Man, you are showing of how much of an asshole you are. Okay, fuck this idea that the government is overreaching. Yo, it ain't the federal government, you fucking morons. Nobody is saying that it is entirely, or even mostly, the federal government, you dolt. It's state and local. Why don't you just fucking look at a website and maybe you can figure out how all this works? Who the fuck is saying otherwise? Who the fuck is saying that it's not... Ugh. You know what? Never mind. Fuck it. I'm gonna call it. Mr. Strummer, give me a break. The federal government is there to aid state government not tell them what to do the state is telling you what to do not like the federal government is not having any say at all in telling us what to do exactly i mean yes it is mostly the state government that is telling us what to do and controlling our lives but still and you know where they're getting their information from medical science and science is like yo stay the fucking doors yeah, except for when it says otherwise about going outside for some sunlight as a helping factor against COVID-19. Also, science doesn't say more government authority now. So now, because you gotta congregate everywhere, you're literally saying, fuck you, math, you make no sense. I'm gonna go get a burger. No, you smearing weasel. You're saying fuck you, government. You're fucking stupid, okay? And if you got sick and you died, I'd be perfectly fine with it. What a fucking psychopath, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. If this guy isn't just purely playing his character with that line, well then he's a fucking psychopath, for all I'm concerned. I'm concerned about everybody else, frankly. I know, man, it's, it's like really selfish. As much as I'd like to go to, you know, certain areas and stuff, I'll have enough respect for my fellow, uh, whatever they are, um, to not do that. Yeah, and to be quite honest, I'm not fully agreeing with just 
going around willy-nilly about with your normal social life, but with you guys' attitude, I can't help but feel sympathetic to those people, especially the protesters. Like, I mean, okay, say, like, you go out, you get sick, right? And then, oh, now I gotta go to the hospital, and oh, I'm, I'm cluttering up the, the hospital beds. And then some poor, poor person comes in, right, with a broken leg. And they're like, oh, sorry, we're, all, we're full up, mate. Yeah, we can't tend to your broken leg. You have to go home with a roll of duct tape and, you know, some toothpicks. Just fix that yourself, okay? It's do it yourself, a whole medical week. Yeah, not gonna lie, the issue of hospital bed shortages is a bit of a more complicated subject of this issue to me. However, part of the problem here seems to point towards daddy government being over-regulatory on hospital expansion. Not to mention, from what I've read, the hospitalization rate of this disease is minuscule. So it doesn't seem that big of a concern in the grand scheme of things, and making up some rhetorical anecdote doesn't hold up against statistics. And considering that the rabbit squirrel here doesn't give any citations, I'm just gonna end off with this. We're not freaking Italy, where their centralized system is threatening rationing. The virus doesn't care. It doesn't care if you're a mass murderer. It doesn't care if you're fucking Mother Teresa, okay? It doesn't care if you are a descendant of God. Cut the condescension, you dickhead. You don't need to explain to us that diseases are undiscriminatory on who they infect. You can't reason with it. You can't say, oh, well, I was just getting the burger, Mr. Virus. Uh, don't kill me. No. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time because you couldn't follow the rules. And again, if you die, I'm fine with that. The case fatality rate of this disease is around 2% I've been typically seeing. What I've read to be the highest of it is 7%. Even that is pretty low. But on the other end, it goes as low as 0.25%. So cut it out with the pessimistic bitchery. It is not a guarantee or even a likability that you are going to die if you catch COVID-19. So stop being a selfish bunch of dicks and stay in a fucking house. Why is this so difficult? I love staying in a house. That's where all my stuff is. Exactly, mate. I mean, you know, oh, wait, fine. I like to go out every once in a while and get a bagel, and, you know, this virus thing kind of doesn't affect the squirrels, so I can kind of do what I want. But, um, like, okay, Jermaine, you know, she likes to go out every once in a while. She hasn't been out. You know, she hasn't gotten, you know, her little ice cream cones or whatever she, you know, purchases with whatever money she has. You know, she just stays at home and laments, you know? That's the thing. And, and that's the other thing. Why is everybody complaining about being stuck in the fucking house? It's your fucking house. Every time I leave the house and I get aggravated, I'm like, God damn, I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody is a bunch of introverted dweebs like you, you rabid squirrel. I swear if I see you on the beaches in fucking Florida, I am gonna get land sharks and drop them from a fucking plane and have them land on your fucking head and bite your body in half. Here, allow me to help you with that by giving you a ride on my helicopter. No, but in all seriousness, we're done, and that felt so freaking long because of how annoying the guy's voice was. I might be just a little bit late actually responding to these two videos right here, as we are coming out of the quarantine phase of this coronavirus pandemic, but who knows of what might exactly happen next, and even if we are done with this issue, these videos could not have gone unresponded because let history not be forgotten of what government overreach was attained or at least attempted to be taken in light of the coronavirus. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button below. If you have some criticisms to me or think there are some areas where I can improve, comment them down below. And if you want to see more dark, edgy content like this, response videos, news shows, hangout streams, well then hit that subscribe button, because I'm your man. Hope to see you all in the next video. See you all later, and God bless.